Are you here? Hey, it's the Paul Leslie Hour with an album review of the 1981 vinyl release and Crazy for Loving You by Paul Williams. Come on. So many people know Paul Williams for the wonderful songs he and his recurring co-writers brought into our world. Then there are his own recordings, lesser known but nonetheless with a following. Paul has joked deprecatingly that his family members and a couple of other folks bought them. There's something thrilling and honest about a songwriter earnestly performing his own material, and that describes the Paul Williams catalog. However, there's one outlier that I've listened to on vinyl again and again. I'd like to talk about Paul Williams' forgotten country record, entitled And Crazy for Loving You, that came out in 1981 on paid records. Williams described the collection as country classics I loved. The Hall of Fame songwriter went on to compliment the great players I'd met through my brother mentor. He'd recorded Dobie Gray with David Briggs at Quadraphonic Studios, including Drift Away, which he wrote and produced. So you may be thinking it seems like a recording anomaly that the guy who co-wrote Rainy Days and Mondays would sing and record a bunch of country classics. You wouldn't be alone. Paul Williams reminisced, There's a what-was-I-thinking element that's unavoidable when I'm reminded of the album. But the songs are classics and personal favorites. I was approached by the producer and said yes. The album title is a lyrical quote from the song Crazy by Willie Nelson, made famous by Patsy Cline. I had the chance to interview Willie Nelson and asked him about Paul Williams. What do you think about Paul Williams as a writer? Well, he's a good writer, yeah. He's an entertainer, writer. He's very good, yeah. The affection is two-sided as the album starts with Willie Nelson's Crazy, and already the stage is set. It feels like Paul is singing right to you. Then it's Paul's take on Take Me in Your Arms, with background vocals that are folksy, quaint. He's got good taste. This is a Cindy Walker song made famous by Eddie Arnold. Willie Nelson also sang it on his album of all Cindy Walker songs. One of my great loves in music is to hear the many ways a song has been interpreted. Then there's A Fool Such As I, which you can imagine being sung in some dimly lit bar. Man, this is such a great song. Paul sings with great feeling and his ever-present honesty that feels personal. Paul Williams follows this with No One to Cry To, a weepy song that goes all the way back to 1946 when the Sons of the Pioneers did it. Eddie Arnold, Jim Reeves, Ray Charles, and even Edie Gourmet recorded this. It still stirs the emotions. Listening to and crazy for loving you makes you understand how much reverence Paul has for country and Western music. Just listen to the track that ends side one, When I Stop Dreaming, a real gem by the Leuven Brothers. As a testament to the quality of this song, it's been covered more than 100 times. Side two starts with Making Believe, a bona fide country standard. The instrumentals are top-notch on this track. Is that Dobro? I think. And it was written by the Ohio-born Jimmy Work. I love it. I've listened to versions by Lefty Frizzell, the Leuven Brothers, Eddie Arnold, Willie Nelson, even Bob Dylan performed it in Istanbul in 1989. I wonder if there's a tape of that somewhere. It's great hearing Paul's soft country croon on this album. Like on the next track, Oh How I Miss You Tonight, which is approaching 100 years old. It's not necessarily a country song, as it's more associated with Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole. Most of the early versions don't get remembered. Bing Crosby did the first version that you can sense a kind of country interpretation. I Fall to Pieces is probably the most famous song on this record. A great song finds its singer. It was turned down by Brenda Lee for being too country. Roy Drewski thought it was a woman's song. People will always think of Patsy Cline when they hear this great tune, written by two of the greatest songwriters ever, Hank Cochran and Harlan Howard. The song clearly resonated with Paul Williams. Then there's Always, written by Irving Berlin. 
Berlin, along with Stephen Foster, were perhaps the finest songwriters America ever knew. This tune is incredibly suited for Paul Williams. He sings this standard with great conviction. It's innovative because it's done in a country style, which I've never heard. Half as much is the most upbeat track, written by Curly Williams. This tune was recorded reluctantly by Hank Williams. I'm curious as to what inspired Paul Williams to sing it. I liked Paul's version and could imagine it in a movie soundtrack. Next is I Really Don't Want to Know, which is a fantastic song. It's somber and fits the mood of In Crazy for Loving You. Paul sings this one in a way that lets you know how real it is to him. It may be the best vocal here. I love this closing of the album. It's nostalgic, and again, it feels so personal. And then there is silence. Paul Williams' album, And Crazy for Loving You, isn't on the streaming services. I put this on the record player on a few sleepless nights. I love it because it's an album that feels so true when you listen. You can't fake something like this. It may not be for everyone, but it's for me.